Well, girly, it's finally time. We've dated for over six years and gone from high school kids to adults, and now the big day is finally here. Having been together and been a part of each other's lives for so long, so much of who I am has been shaped by and defined by our relationship. I literally can't imagine my life without you in it. Every stage of our relationship has come so easily and been a blessing to me. I couldn't be more excited about our future. I love you so, so much, Sarah. Love, Kenneth. You are my everything and more. You are strong, intelligent, kind, giving, thoughtful, and everything that I am not. Thank you for being patient and kind. I promise to love you and support you. I will love you until the day I die and long after that. You are my heart and Florida. I am so happy to be your wife. I can't wait to spend my life with you. I love you, Sarah. Heavenly Father, we consecrate, God, this ceremony of marriage to you at this time. And we ask that it be sealed now by the power of your Holy Spirit. Together we declare this blessing upon Kenneth and Sarah. And we say, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Kenneth and Sarah, it's with great honor that we get to share this day with you. And it's even more special because we know that you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know, 1 Corinthians 13 gives us this picture that Scripture talks about as the true way to love one another. And it says this, it says, Love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy and it does not boast. It's not proud and it's not rude. It's not self-seeking. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always perseveres, and love never fails. Today, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kenneth, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth Ford. I'm so proud of how well they've loved and supported each other unconditionally in every season of life that they've gone through. I love you both so much and I can't wait to see where God's going to take you in the future.